There's also a report, DailyWire.com wrote up this, uh, Luke Rosiak, our friend Luke Rosiak over at Daily Wire uh, wrote this up, and uh, he says that there is a view, and we're tr- tr- tracking this camera down here, the class president led, uh, in, called the Nation's Anthem, referring to the Pledge of Allegiance, I don't know why she called it the Nation's Anthem, um, and during the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance, uh, during the One Nation Under God part, um, she said, hold on, uh, class president, in which she said the U.S. was one nation under Allah. Oh, boy. One nation under Allah. And apparently, now this is reported, Omesh was out of view of the camera, but a picture from another recent graduation shows her as the only person without her hand over her heart during the pledge. That was at another graduation ceremony. And as Luke Rosiak writes, uh, Omar, uh, excuse me, Abrar Omesh said racism, extreme visions of in, versions of individualism and capitalism mm-hmm. and white supremacy uh, were in the world that these graduates were playing. Think about that. Your kid is graduating and the speaker is saying, congratulations, you're entering a world where racism, extreme versions of individualism and capitalism and white supremacy exist and then encourage them to remember their jihad, Mercedes. And she said the jihad part, I believe, in Arabic. Is yes. that correct, Larry? Yes. So, it, it, you know, she sends a subliminal message in Arabic so that nobody understands what she's saying or the very few are understanding. And that word in itself, I mean, talk about, you know, we were we were there in 9-11. Yes. Talk about what it triggers. It, it's very, very scary when they're starting to use words like jihad. Uh, not only in a high school graduation, but just here in this country. It's very jarring. And exactly. I, I know they'll say, oh, jihad just means struggle. It means struggle. Then say struggle. Struggle. Right? Then say it. If what you want to say is struggle, then say struggle. But when you say jihad, it is also used to declare war on America and our allies. A holy war. Yes. A holy war against America. And what I hate is when these individuals go out there and speak in this 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 term that America is racist, that America uh, spews hatred. We are not that country. This is not what we're made of. And so it just shows that they are, she's just so disconnected uh, from where we are as a nation. And, and again, and draws the attention to herself and her own political and social agenda instead of where the focus should be, which is this great kids. moment for these yeah. kids and their parents. Linda from Columbia wants to jump in here because you heard Abra Omish, member of the school board, telling students at Justice High School that they should remember their jihad. What do you think of that, Amanda? Well, uh, when the Islamic regime took over my peaceful country, Iran, they told us, well, jihad means peace. Jihad doesn't mean that we're going to get rid of your people. Jihad is not that we're going to apply gender apartheid and make women the slaves of men and jihad doesn't mean that if you are going to give all your money to palestinians and hamas and hezbollah and we spend it on terrorism and leave the children of iran hungry and make them working children and women nobody and right now 100 and uh, 124 educated lawyer women are in prisons of iran this is islam this is the allah that this lady who has no idea this child what is going on in the world and what is happening to america all the lies that they are giving i came to america for freedom for equality for the fact that this country you can say what you think nobody is going to beat you up that you the the doors are open to achieve what you want and what you can and there is justice for all this is why i came to america god bless you amanda and i'm glad you did and we need your voice more than ever thank you so much for saying that it needed to be said and i'm glad you said it